I would say the stories within stories. So there's 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 something happening which you see in the foreground, but the background is a completely different world. It is a dying art form, and it is imperative that uh, we preserve it and we give encouragement to younger artists to come and learn the technique to have to believe that they can make a sustainable livelihood in it. Our collection is a way. to sort of continue a tradition you know which was there 300 years ago and we want to sort of pre preserve this culture the kishangarh style of miniature painting born from the cultural exchange between moguls and rajputs in the royal courts of rajputana thrived in the 18th century the rajasthani miniature schools were gradually influenced by the excellence of the mughal technique we had a very talented artist called bhavani das who came from the mughal atelier and uh, he came as i working with the rulers of kishanwar bhavani das a pioneering artist experimented with techniques and themes shaping devotional miniature paintings i would say that he started the school of art and after him we've had fantastic artists like nihal chand uh, sita ram dal chand and many many more miniature painters and what is specific to the kishanwar school of miniature painting is this sort of Uh, intangible essence. There's this ethereal beauty that you see in the figures, as well as the detail backdrops. There is a sort of um, recurring theme of uh, the landscape. You know the so soft rolling hills and uh, the skies that are there, but also the architecture. What makes these works particularly engaging is the use of the colors. uh you know if you see these uh, the, you know you see the sky which is circling around that sort of focal point it is taken uh, from the kishangar sky when you come to kishangar uh, especially in the winter season you will see these skies what you can see here is um, a collection of works which is done on stone uh, with stone color and uh, we are trying to uh, we are making this, the colors in house and uh, we are creating a series which um, resonates with this uh, older color palette which is much more sort of softer it has a more uh, organic sort of look to it princess vashnavi kumari who founded studio kishangarh notes a decline in engaged artists underscoring the challenges faced in preserving this rich heritage and what i've noticed in the years that i've been doing this is that there's been a slow waning and in interest uh, at least with the younger generation and i can say with the absolute fact uh, there are hardly any younger artists we have in the city and uh, you know as we sort of speak it is a dying art form and it is imperative that uh, we preserve it and we give encouragement to younger artists to come and learn the techniques uh, to have to believe that they can make a sustainable livelihood in it uh, to believe that you know it is appreciated by an audience you know not only in india but also internationally Uh, exhibitions like this uh, help us do that